Okay, so this is the outcome of my new purchase. Uh, this is the old Argon 1, or the current Argon 1 without the M2, and this is the M2 base that has been plugged onto, just to stop me losing the screws, okay, and I have the old daughter board in there. This is the new M2 1, Argon 1, but the old base, and you see I can access the SD card, but you can't with the new one. The beauty of this one is it's got the full SD, two full, two micro, uh, HDMI rather, not the micro, and that's really nice. Um, what I've found is that in this particular configuration, it more or less lives somewhere on this rather attractively clean desk. Um, you see, I've got pretty decent connection to my internet. Um, it's transferring files at what's this? Megabytes per second there, it was on and off. So I, I can't I get me just move it into view. Hang on a second, sorry about this. I've got to move a mouse with one hand. Um, it's just stopped at the point, isn't it? Okay, so it does occasionally lose the internet, which is a bit crazy. Yeah, maybe because I moved this, but it will come back in a moment. Um, but generally, it's ah, oh, there it's come back, come back with a vengeance. Yeah, so generally, this thing works quite nicely in this new configuration. Um, I don't know, some people have said this thing causes problems, but definitely the the board that handles the M2 is blocking signals, really badly blocking Wi-Fi signal. Um, and it's just unusable for me in my current. If you're really close to your Wi-Fi and you've got a decent setup or you're on wired, I'm sure you'll love it. But for me, it's just rubbish. I also bought this uh, M2 SSD. So you see it has the word SSD and M2 on it, but crucially somewhere on here, it mentions it's an NVMe. I don't even know. I, 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 of course, it was an M2. Actually, it doesn't even say it on there. It was an M2 2280, which I now realise is the dimension, 22 wide, 80 long. This doesn't work. Uh, that's what it says, it's an N2 NVMe, yeah. So this just doesn't work in um, the... Uh, don't work the argon one m m2 so m2 is not it is a shape it's not the technology you want is the m2 pcie um now what i've done instead is to order like this thing here a case that will take this drive and allow me to transfer and use it between laptops and our pies and that and so i'm okay with that i mean yes this was fairly expensive but i bought it on the basis that oh i'll be able to use it with more modern PCs when I upgrade, yeah. Uh, I didn't realize fully, uh, my bad, is I'm not blaming this kit for that. It's, it, it does say it clearly. I don't think that Amazon makes it that clear, but it just doesn't work, yeah. So don't get this if you want it to run inside one of these. And if you want to use the new M2, uh, unless you're really close to the internet or you're using your... Um, Ethernet, I wouldn't bother. It, people have talked about drilling holes in the bottom of it or whatever, or drilling holes in the side of the case. Well, to me, that defeats the purpose. So what I've got is a hybrid where I'm actually happy um, because I've got the proper full-size HDMI on the back. Um, I've got access to the card, and I'll just plug in, like I'm doing in a minute, uh, a external SSD, and it can just live next to it. Uh, I'm happy with that, um, but I'm a little bit disappointed that this product originally was so good and this one is just so poor, in my opinion, in my particular environment. I have no idea if this thing is the culprit. What I'll do when this is finished transferring is I will try using this cable to hook it up instead, um, see if that makes any difference to the Wi-Fi and use the original base. But I strongly suspect the extra card in here with the metal on it is just blocking the signal um, and I think this is supposed to be transparent to allow IR and whatever um, but the signal just doesn't seem to be able to get through so this is my honest review of it I love the full-size HDMI really don't like the fact that my internet goes to rubbish um, I have a workable solution because it's a hybrid a Frankenstein's version of it but I shouldn't have to buy 80 pounds worth of cases i mean that's a raspberry pi 4 and i'd much rather have a raspberry pi 4 8 gigabit than two cases uh, although these do keep it cool so without that i guess i wouldn't be able to overclock them 
So that's my review. Um, thank you for watching and bye.